Okay, I'm going to talk briefly about kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is dealing with motion. So anything dealing with the term kinetics means motion. So kinetic energy is motion. Okay, and there's two types of kinetic energy. Okay, so the first type, I'll do these in different colors. First type is going to be translational. And what do we mean when we say translational? We basically mean that the object is probably just like sliding along the ground in one direction like this. It's not rotating and there's no forces that are going to cause it to rotate. It's just kind of moving along. And the next one's going to be rotational. Okay, and that's an object like if you had a wheel spinning on a shaft like this, say you had like a wheel spinning and there's your, your shaft, it's spinning in the air, it's just kind of spinning around like that. Okay, so it's just spinning in place. So we can have a combination of these two also. Um, and the way that we express that in terms of kinetic energy is this. So we know that kinetic energy is a big letter K. We know that these, by the way, these units are going to be joules, so I'm just going to put here joules. Okay. So kinetic energy is going to be the kinetic energy of the translational, or sometimes they say linear, either way, plus the kinetic energy of the rotational. Okay, And the way that I express that is the translational is one-half mv squared, and this is one-half i omega squared. Okay, So these terms are similar but they're different. This is dealing with the rotating aspect, this is dealing with the moving aspect. So if you had a wheel that was doing two things, if it's rolling like this and it's also moving like this, right? Draw these little arrows just to show that it's moving uniformly like that, then you would have both of these terms, okay? And so uh, these terms, like I said, they're similar but they're a little different. So how are they different? Well, this is the mass. This is the linear speed. This is the moment or the moment of inertia. And basically that's going to be how difficult is it to get it spinning. Okay, so inertia is the, the tendency to uh, resist move, resist change of movement, right? So if it's at rest, it's going to want to stay at rest. If it's moving, it's going to want to stay moving. And this is the uh, rotational speed. All of these, both of these are in joules, and they combine to make uh, one larger term of joules.